All right, let's just talk briefly about vertical and horizontal lines. Um, this is a classic error that over the years as a geometry teacher, I see time and time again. So I just wanted to hit it just quickly here. When we talk about a x equals negative 1 as an equation of a line, many students have this assumption that it would be this line here, this horizontal line through negative 1. Because the assumption is x-axis, x equals negative 1. That is so wrong. Ah! And I'll tell you why it's so wrong. Is because what this is actually saying is that all of the x values are negative 1. Now the place where all x values are negative 1 is over here is, is this line. See, this is negative 1 and 1, negative 1 and 2, negative 1 and 4, negative 1 and negative 5. All of those values are x equals negative 1. You know what's kind of weird? Is the y-axis has an equation of x equals 0. That's the whole issue at, the, at hand here. So x equals, oops, x equals negative 3 would be uh, this guy right here. And it represents uh, all of those values where x equals negative 3. So just remember <clears throat> that our vertical lines are described by x. Another way I tell students to succeed with this is go to x equals 3, here it is, and then form the line from there. And then it tends to work a little bit nicer. Let me take these back here quickly, and let's look at the y equals group. So if I wanted uh, the y equals, uh, let's say, 2 line, um, y equals 2 <clears throat> would imply that I am at y equaling 2, and then my line would be created from there. So this would be the y equals 2 line. It is parallel to the x-axis, which has the equation of y equals 0. So let's say we wanted another line. Well, let's, let's do y equals uh, negative 2. So y equals negative 2 would imply that we are down here at y equaling negative 2 and that this would be our line. So I just wanted to quickly mention about horizontal and vertical lines.